Hi guys, this is gonna be my first plug, and today we'll be reviewing one of my favorite noodlers ink, the Noodlers Squittage. Okay. So, um, I bought this ink. Um, it's the um, Doodler's Squittage. I don't know if you can see it from the, from the screen. Um, I bought this for quite a while now. Um, it's actually for office purposes. Um, in the office, we were limited to use only um, either a black or a blue ink because um, we are writing on um, government documents um, and it's actually for consistency and as part of the office's um, security measure against fraud and unauthorized alteration. So if we see um, a red, um, pink, orange, or any other color that is on the, the government document, it certainly is fake or not genuine or it's, uh, somebody might have um, tried to copy um, our stamps and wow. write on their own. So um, with that um, standing order, um, me being me, I had to find a way um, to use a little bit hint of green. So um, in that way, um, the, 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 the um, imprimatur that I give to the stamp or to the, to the writing that I would be doing on that government document would still have a personal taste something that i would be sure that it's it was me who actually wrote that that um inscription or it's it was me who put that that marking on that do go government document so um i've searched online about um different inks that uh, fits the description that i wanted um I was able to find recommendations in the online community, um, especially in the Fountain Pen Network. Um, I was able to um, get recommendations for Noodlers Jivago, and I've tried my best to look for it in all of the scribe stores here in the Philippines um, that are within my reach. But it was always out of stock, so I've asked our ever trustworthy scribe friends of their opinion what other inks that they could recommend to me um, that I would be able to use um, for office and that fits this kind of descriptions. So they offered me a lot of options, um, indeed, um, but most of them were too bright um, that it's not any more appropriate for the office standard so um i've tried to move away from what i really wanted until um this very good ate from scribe showed me this bottle um this bottle um has a fish label on it um at first i was actually quite encouraged when i when i saw the label because because of this border i thought it was going to be um some kind of one of those um, inks that they have showed me earlier it was hinting some kind of a bright green or turquoise in this label so I was not really up to it until um, they allowed me to write with it so during the writing sample it felt like heaven because um, it showed the color that I really wanted it was perfect for what I needed for the office and it still shows a little bit of me um it it kind of it, it kind of um, um it kind of um pronounces my personality <laughs> so i tried to write it with uh to write with it in a platinum 376 century that um they allowed me to use for the testing the color is perfect again it's very very dark with hints of green so when I was trying to look at the the writing sample, I kind of remembered that it was like filling a fountain pen with a green ink um, that you have previously previously used with 
a black ink without having it flush first. So hit like uh, if you've done the same thing before just to see what kind of color it would produce or what, what color would your pen would, uh, would write with. And I would gladly appreciate if you can comment down below um, any combinations that you've made in the past. So I might try it myself someday. So before I start my writing sample, um, I'll familiarize everyone first of the materials that we're going to use. So first, uh, right here, again, is the Noodler's um, Sweetage that I bought for 725 pesos. Yes, yeah, so it's for 725 pesos um, in Scribe in Makati. Um, I'm not sure if the price is still the same um, as of this filming because um, I have read uh, I have read validated claims online that um, fountain pens did increase in price recently. I don't know it, if it's because of the inflation or or this might have been an effect of the train law. So um, 725 for a three ounce bottle. It's not cheap, but don't get me wrong. It's an, a three ounce bottle, so it's roughly few milliliters less than 90 so with that kind of um, volume and price it's gonna be eight pesos per milliliter so it's kind of uh, a bang in the back what a bang in the back a bang in the back bang in the back what the f So there's, it's not quite an issue the price of this uh this ink, but if you're if you are one of those who are easily bored of the ink because you'll be using this ink like now I bought this for maybe I think a year or two years ago and I have still not used up the bottle. So if you're the kind of person that easily gets bored with colors, um I think the Noodler's bottle would not be the uh, right um, right bottle for you because it contains a lot of um, ink you might as well um, um, just use sample vials or uh, off for the um, smaller bottles which the other brands do offer so um, if we have an ink there should be a pen that we should use and in this case um, we have already inked this almost vintage um, Hero 442 which I bought in um, an old bookstore in Recto. Um, it's called um, Corona. It was just for 35 pesos and I don't know if they if they still have stocks of this um, pen. I can actually still remember that day when I first bought it because that, those were the days that I, that I was still um, starting with, with fountain pens. Um, it was very dirty that day. Um, it doesn't look new and it was very very dusty so the sales lady was really making sure if I um, if I really intend to buy this old and dusty pen okay so um, this pen has uh, some kind of flex with it um, though it was not marketed as one and um, okay. it carries a it carries one of the oldest uh, filling mechanism it's the SAC uh, filling mechanism, which I'm amazed that up to this date, um, the SAC has not uh, worn out yet, despite its age. So, um, though I've noticed some uh, degree of discoloration made by the previous inks that I have used, but luckily there's still, um, there's no um, leaking or anything um, abnormal or unusual with, the, with its SAC. I've just um, kind of um, noticed lately that this pen is starting to leak up um, more frequently than it used to. I don't know if um, if it's starting to give up. <laughs> so, if you have any idea what's going wrong with this pen, um, I will I will gladly appreciate if you can comment down below if uh, what could be the problem with this pen. But 
I do really like um, the writing uh, experience with this pen, especially when I'm trying to flex with it. So um, since we have now the, the, the ink and the pen that we're going to use, um, there should be the paper as well. We won't be using any Tomoe River or any Rodilla paper because those are just uh, way above our price point. So the paper that we're going to use is something that is uh, very abundant here in the Philippines and it's very uh, available at a very cheap price. So it's the um, Easy Write um, pad paper. This is available here in the Philippines for uh, 20 pesos in the local Sari Sari store. Um, but um, you will be able to get this at a cheaper price in the malls. Um, it's available in packs of three and it's roughly around 50 pesos, I think. So um, this is very thin paper, but I think it's somewhat coated. So it's perfect for mountain pens. Um, um, there's no feathering or anything um, that you would see on a normal paper but um, since it's very very thin um, you would be able to see some kind of bleed through with it but it's very very minimal and um, if it goes um, if it went beyond the minimal threshold it's somewhat tolerable Okay, so we'll start now with our writing sample. So the pen is um, Hero442 with, um, I think it's a medium nib. And it has, um, I mean, it is ink with um, a Noodlers. Steam yeah. Okay. So uh, let's do some uh, line testing first. Horizontally. I hope you can see the colors. Vertically. That is not flexed, okay? If I'm going to flex it, the line can go as big as this. Okay. Diagonally. And downwards. Diagonal. Okay. I'll also do some um, DSs. To show you the line variation that it can create. I am flexing whenever we're gearing towards the downward strokes. Okay. Some ovals. It is indeed a very, very wet writer. So I'm guessing that you'll be having some bleed juice. So yeah, there we go. But then again, if we are going to use some um, pens that are not that uh, not not this wet, um, you won't be experiencing um, this. Um, very grave degree of blade throughs. So, um, maybe we should go for a coat.
random hugot na nila <laughs> okay so I don't know if you can see the colors now it started black but somehow it started to change in color when it oxidizes somewhat kind of um, gray in color but no up close in person it's you can really see the green but it's not entirely green perhaps I can um, ano, show you a screenshot of or or a scan copy of this because it doesn't look doesn't really appear in the camera so here is the um, photo of how the colors actually look like in person okay so i hope you enjoyed this video like share and subscribe so uh, we could get a lot of viewers para next time magkakaintindihan tayo magtatagalog na lang ako <laughs> okay until next time peace out bye